In this short video, we'll share some of the features of student pages in Sakai. So we're going to demonstrate how students can add content to a course Sakai site using the tool Student Pages. You can see here that I have navigated to the correct uh, lessons page within my course Sakai site. And this is what uh, you'll see as a student if you're asked to add your own page to a course Sakai site. So all you need to do to start is click this button, add your own page, and it will bring you to this created student page. When using this tool in Sakai, uh, you can add text, embed videos from YouTube or our uh, video hosting platform Echo360. You can share websites, write text, share images, documents, resources, audio files. Uh, there's a lot of options to share information and resources using this tool. So to get started, uh, you'll navigate to this add content, this little plus sign, and it'll bring up a list of options for you. So here you can add text, you can embed images, you can share content links, you can create sub pages. And a sub page might be useful if you're curating uh, resources or documentation on a, a course theme or a course content area, and you want to sort of have that organized um, for yourself or for your classmates or for your instructor to look at. So if we click add text here, It'll bring us to the Sakai text editor, which you might be familiar with, and you can use headings to form your uh, content there, and you can write uh, a message. There we go, and it's uh, pretty easy, so if you want to add, uh, there's options to add uh, emoticons, and if you want to add a video, you can actually click this blue icon here to embed a video from Echo360. And here it'll bring up all of the content that you have created within Echo360. You can also create new media and you can upload existing videos that you might have saved on your device. So if I choose from a video I've already created, I'll just select that and I'll insert that video here. I like to center it, so I'll hit save. And there we go. And so now I have I introduced myself and then I've shared a short video. If I want to keep adding content, I can select this add item to the bottom here um, and I can embed an image on the page by embedding content. I can choose a file. Um, I can choose this wonderful image by Julia Forsyth, the Associate Director of the Center for Pedagogical Innovation. I can save. And there it is. So now I've shared text, I've shared a video, and I've shared an image. So if I would like to add more content, I can actually go to add text and I can record an audio clip here as well by selecting that little microphone button. I can start recording, say, hello, my name is Natalie. I'm really excited to be here. You can stop recording and then I can post that right into my student page. There we go. So uh, in this short time, we've uploaded an audio file We've shared an image, uploaded a video, and I've shared some text as well. So you can see there are a lot of different ways that you can share information with your classmates and with your instructor.